Good morning everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Uh, lots of things to talk about today. Yay! I did pick a winner for a packet of underpants, which is most exciting. The name is Kay Lee. That is our winner. So Kay Lee, if you're out there in our YouTube world, I'll leave a comment and we will connect and I will send you a nice packet of fun underpants, okay? So in this video, I'm working on three different projects. Uh, the entire video will be on a uh, mosaic made with magazine pages. So this is what we're going to be playing with today uh, via instructions. Now the other day, I was working in my altered book and I tore uh, some of that when I was foiling. Foiled. Foiled again, Batman. So I put a focal point on there, so I'll show you that. And then this is on corrugated cardboard. Can you see how big she is? She's very big and she's very gorgeous. And I started to peel the uh, cardboard off here so that it's the corrugated background behind her. I have a show coming up in Pittsburgh, California, and I want her to be the entrance piece, like when you walk into the show where it says the reception, I would like for her to be the greeter. So if you are a Patreon um, subscriber, I will be sending this size template out to you so that you can play with this. We've used this before in another piece or a couple pieces, even in class. It's been very, very fun. Uh, this is from an iron-on transfer, and what I did with this piece is I enlarged it by 200%, and then I came up with the larger pieces, and I just uh, put a piece of music sheet through my printer, laid this on the top of my copier, and sent the music paper through at 200% larger. And that's how I came up with the pieces that were large enough to put on that cardboard. Okay, so lots going on. A finished uh, collage in the altered book. The giant corrugated cardboard, which of course this is May, still corrugated cardboard month. And our fun magazine page mosaic. So, very fun. All right, see you on the table. Well, I've gone through my magazines and I've cut out a bunch of different things. I'm hooked on her face, so I made a couple copies of that. Uh, I love the map, but not necessarily for this piece. The colors are wrong. So I uh, printed her out just on a piece of scrapbooking paper. Really like her face. So, and then all kinds of goodies that I cut out. And very fun bug that I cut out. And we are working on this page. I'll just tack this video onto um, another one. And we're going to play with her and hide this boo boo page that I pulled up. And yes, I'm going to cover most of the background because that is what we do. But look how fun she is. Bring her down here. She's going to go off the page. I'm okay with that. And where's her buddy here? Love this little bird. So we're going to figure out how to put these guys together on this page. I'm just going to start by gluing her down. I guess we'll go pretty much in the middle of the page with her. So I'm bringing the stabilo up onto her for the low lighting and onto the background. And I'm doing this before I put the bird 
on because the bird's going to come in pretty close. All right, I just stabilized her edge. I've decided I want to put this down for her eye, and of course I already have the petal glued down, so we'll see if we can lift that up some. Looks like it. So I was able to lift that up. Mod Podge had not dried yet. Putting some Mod Podge on that eye. That's kind of fun. And just glue everything back down. All right, glue that all back down. Let's bring the bird in. Very good. I'll put some Mod Podge on the back of that. And I am going to put Mod Podge on the entire thing, seal it. Alright, I'm going to bring the Stabilo in and just Stabilo around the focal point and the edges of the page. My hands are all full of glue from working on the Poppy project. Alright, so here's the finished collage page on the piece that I tore when I was putting the foil down. The foil is still in the background, it's got a lovely background and a gorgeous collage. So this is what I've been working on while we're doing the poppies. Good morning all. So let's get started on this fun project. I printed out some poppies uh, on uh, Handsome Hubby's inkjet because he has color and I don't. Um, so I printed this out. It is pixelated but that's okay. And then I have a plain piece of printer paper and I believe this is a Tim Holtz. Uh, I'll look that up later. It's kind of a sheer paper. I'm going to glue this thin paper to a piece of printer paper because the thin paper will not go through the printer. It'll get all caught up and clogged. So I'm just going to toss some Mod Podge down here and brand new Mod Podge. It's right, nice and thin. Wow. I just opened up a gallon jug. All right. I'm just going to put some Mod Podge down on here and then place that paper on here. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to run this through the printer, copying this on this. Okay, so here is the inkjet copy of the poppies on the Tim Holtz background paper on printer paper. It ran through the printer just fine. What I'm going to do now is bring in a magazine and start going through the magazine and looking for the reds. And I will just start ripping up little bits and pieces of that. Oh, we do need some green for the center there. So I'm going to take, this is for the stems, the green for the stems. And this is the red, of course, a little bit of orange. And I'm just going to start ripping it up into small pieces. All right, I have a few red pieces here. Clearly, we're going to need a lot more than that, but we're going to go ahead and get started. You can see how the inkjet will um, bleed. Now, I will have some uh, white edges on some of these, and so do what you need to do around that. Some people like the white edges to show, so I encourage you to do that. And you're just going to start gluing some fun pieces onto your poppies.
Now if I bring this picture back in, so there's no center here, but there is a center here. There's a small center here with a little bit of green and some dark around it. So I'm just going to go in here. Rip a little bit of green out of this. Oh, fun stuff, huh? And bring in a little bit of black here, right around the edge. Remember, this is a collage. You're not working for perfection here. Just some fun playfulness. Ta-da! All right, I'm going to keep moving forward. Red, green, black, red. This is a green thing that comes down here, and then there's just some black in here. So I'm going to use this as my reference. For the stem, I am going to cut it. I think that'll still be fun. Now you can see where the uh, inkjet bleeds a little bit. You will not have that problem if you are using the laser, which um, I do not have a color laser. And I am just continuing to create this fun collage. All right, I've gone back into my magazine and found some more red pieces, and I will just tear those up and glue them on to the remaining poppies. Okay, I have another poppy done. I'm going to bring this in for reference. So I need a light green with some dark around it. Here's a piece laying on my desk right here. We're going to go ahead and use that. Pretty fun. One more poppy to go. All right, let's go for the last poppy here. All right, we are going to let that dry. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yep, pretty fun. All right, let's let it dry, and we'll bring the Stabilo in. So the poppies are quite close to the bottom, and then there's a lot of empty space up here. This is just a piece left over from me uh, tearing out the stems, and I'm just going to put that up in this corner, actually using the brush. 
It's just easier to use my fingers on the rest. And now we need a little something something there. Pretty cool. All right, so I am going to bring my Stabilo in and start low lighting these puppies. I'm going to go around all the puppies. Spit and smudge girl, you know that. So I've gone around the poppies. I'm just going around this little area up here that I added for energy. Go around the whole piece, around the edge. It can be kind of messy. Thank goodness. I'm going to bring in my white paint pen and just, well it's a white gel pen actually, and I'm just going to add a little bit of fun stuff into the poppies. Now that was fun. So here's the finished piece. Go back to what we used. Yep, pretty gosh darn fun. Pretty gosh darn fun. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.